Hey, I am here in the pantry of death and I want to talk to you today about broth. So one of the things that I found in here was this Campbell's beef broth. I want to read you the ingredients and tell you why you should never choose broth or really any of these soups. There's some soups back here. All of these soups, these pre, these, these, these canned soups, these all have so many chemicals in them. So the soup itself is beef broth water, cooked dehydrated beef, modified food starch product, and then a whole litany of other things in here that you probably don't want. But if we just go back to the broth, the problem with the broth, let's read the ingredients, is beef stock. Good so far. Yeast extract. Now anytime you see yeast or autolyzed or hydrolyzed, these are forms of monosodium glutamate. Now monosodium glutamate is what's called excitatory to the nervous system. So think about that. It excites the nervous system. It ramps up the nervous system. So if you have any depression, anxiety, ADD, ADHD, inability to think clearly, racing thoughts in your brain, you can't sleep. If you just can't calm down, you might be overexposed or exposed in general to MSG in any of its forms. So when you think about MSG, it is literally toxic to your nerves. And so you want to make sure that you are reading these labels so that you're not putting any form of monosodium glutamate into your system. So the ingredients in here are beef stock, yeast extract, and then straight up monosodium glutamate, hydrolyzed wheat gluten, caramel color, hydrolyzed soy protein, natural flavoring, beef stock, celery extract, beef tallow, dried beef, onion oil, and garlic oil. Aside from all the MSG derivatives that are in here, if I tell a client of mine that I need them on a gluten-free diet, what will happen if I don't educate properly, which is why we do these videos to help you have a greater understanding of where certain chemicals live. You could easily go to the store and say, I'm going to buy beef broth because there's no gluten in beef broth. Why would there be bread in here? That's kind of how we, we're conditioned to think is why would there be bread or gluten in here? There shouldn't be. So you would just pull it off the shelf without reading the label. However, there is gluten in here. This is not gluten free. Now, people who have celiac are pretty well conditioned to read labels to know and understand that. But even if you are somebody who has celiac or any other gut issues, that you're trying to avoid gluten, you've got to read that label because it can be hiding in things that you are thinking intuitively, well, there shouldn't be gluten in beef broth, not if you make it yourself. So let's talk about what else we found in the pantry of death. I found free range chicken bone broth. So bone broth is actually really healthy for you. It actually helps to heal the gut. It can help with your bones. It can help with hair, skin, and nails because the collagen in the bones, the, 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 um, the nutrients, the hydroxyapatite, calcium that comes out of that is all really helpful to lay down a foundation and help to build or rebuild the, your, your structure of your cells and your joints. But the problem with this compared to this is I'm gonna show you. So this is just straight chicken stock, this is bone. So we're also getting pushed to buy more bone broth because we're hearing that bone broth is really healthy for us. So this is Kroger Simple Truth Organic. This is the problem with the organic label. Again, we've got to read these ingredients. So this particular label says organic chicken broth, organic chicken flavor, sea salt. Again, I don't know what that chicken flavor is, but whatever. Okay, sea salt, not the worst on here organic onion powder, yeast extract. Okay, now we're getting into our MSG derivatives. Organic natural flavor, organic chicken fat, organic cane sugar. So we have cane sugar in here, but hey, it's organic. Um, organic carrot juice and organic turmeric, and that helps with the color. When I make my own, it naturally develops a color. I don't have to actually add carrots, or I, I do add carrots more for flavoring and nutrients, but I don't actually have to add things in it for the coloring. They're putting that in here for the coloring, for you, the consumer. They're not necessarily putting turmeric in here for health or to help you know, with inflammation. So you're not getting enough turmeric in here to even consider the fact that it would help with inflammation. So that's the chicken bone broth. Now, when we go just to the regular broth, it's water, organic chicken flavor, organic chicken bone broth. So this actually has chicken bone broth in it. 
sea salt, organic vegetable juice concentrate, carrot, onion, celery, organic onion powder, yeast extract, organic cane sugar, organic turmeric, and organic flavor. I actually would choose this one over this one. And I, there's no um, prices on here, so I'd be curious to know if this bone broth is actually more expensive than the chicken stock. So bone broth, is it giving you, is it it's a better marketing plan or this one, you know, less of a marketing plan, but I would probably choose this one over this one. In the grand scheme of things, I would continue to search and I would find a broth that didn't have any sugar or any of the yeast extract in it. Now there's another brand of broth and I think it's called Kettle and Fire and it's actually has none of the extra things in there and it's all pure ingredients. So it's literally, if I made it in my kitchen and put it in a box and sold it to the public. But you can easily make your own broth at home. So you can go to the butcher, you can get some really good knuckle bone. Beef knuckle bones are really great because you're gonna get the, the collagen from the joints, the cartilage, the bone marrow, so the really good fat in there. And then of course, just boil the heck out of it on your stove top with um, celery, carrots, uh, onions, garlic. You could put herbs in there. Sometimes I've even thrown hard squash in there for extra flavor and it can be really delicious. And just boil that for about four to six hours, throw it into a mason jar. Then what I do is I actually freeze it with the lid off and allow the, the liquid to expand. Once it's frozen, I put the lid on. Now I'll do the same thing also with chicken feet. So I get chicken feet from an organic local farmer and I throw those into a pot with all the great veggies and the herbs and I just let that boil for hours. And when I, and, I, and I, I'll jar it the same way, pour it into a jar, let it freeze with the lid off. When it's frozen, put the lid on. And then when I pull that out and I go to eat that, it is literally gelatin in a jar. So, so many of you are going into the store, you wanna find some kind of supplement for hair, skin, and nails. What if you just ate really good broth that you made a couple of times a week? That would be far more valuable than any of these products that you could go buy in a store. And the, the good thing about making your own broth is that when you drink it, it heals your gut, it actually helps to heal your joints, it helps to bring inflammation down, it's so nourishing in so many ways for your health. So think about broth. The next time you're going to the store and you wanna buy something, I, and personally, I do keep broth as a backup for if I didn't have time to thaw my broth out. So I do keep that, but I also buy the Costco brand and it's it actually has no garbage in it. It's just straight up bone broth. And so it's worthy of me spending my dollars on that. I don't buy it all the time. I, I, I will always have it, but I don't utilize it as much as what I keep in my freezer. So anyway, I hope that helps. Let me know your thoughts on broth. Leave me a comment. And as always, I appreciate you being here and I'll see you on the next one.